Hi everybody! Today I want to show you how simple it is to make beautiful dimensional rolled flowers using Spiral Blossom from Spa Binders. And I'm going to use today, I'm going to be using 100% wool felt. I just love the way this 100% wool felt cuts with the dye templates. Now this is a little different than the wool you're going to find, the felt, excuse me, that you're going to find at places like Michaels or Walmart. This is something you're going to find at a fabric store. If you like felt, this is amazing. Uh, you can cut so much detail with this using the caliber in your Spellbinders dye templates. It, it's just amazing. So I want to show you how easy it is. So I'm just going to take a piece of felt and I'm going to put it over here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run it through. And it just takes one time through. There is no extra cutting. It goes through very easily. And of course I always put my cut edge up with my dye template. And run it through. Is. And here we go. We've got this beautifully cut out piece of felt that we're going to use to make our rolled flower. And what I thought might be kind of fun is, I thought it'd be fun to give this white felt some color. So what I did is I grabbed a Copic marker and I used VO4 and I just colored the felt on a scratch piece of paper and now I've got this color added. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the outside and I'm going to want to roll towards the inside because this center here is the base. This is where all the pieces are going to rest on. And I'm going to put the color to the outside and I'm just going to start rolling. And you can roll as tightly or as loosely as you want. Get a little bit more in the middle here. So you can see and I'm just rolling and I'm trying to keep the bottom as flat as I can. I'm just going to keep rolling, keep working this around and around and around until I get it on its base. And there we've got this beautiful flower with just a little bit of color. So what I'm going to do is, with this felt, I'm going to take tacky glue or use some type of fabric glue to hold it together. And I'm going to take and I'm just going to put that down on the base. I'm going to put the flower back on there and adjust it a little bit the way I want it. And now we have this beautiful flower ready to add things to the center, add a button, add some pearls, and add some dimension. You can do these with paper too. Same thing applies. Just push back some of the petals with the paper to open up the flower. Simple, easy, and beautiful to put on cards and projects. Thanks. Have fun creating.